Well, now me and my gal took a taxi cab. We got downtown and he gave me the tab. He made the trip in real good time. I looked at my change and I was short a dime. I asked my gal if she had a dime to spare. She said she thought she might have it somewhere. She opened her pocketbook there in the light and never in my life have I seen such a sight. She had lipstick, a comb, and a fingernail file, an old pair of earrings gone out of style, a rubber band and a powder puff, a billfold loaded with cards and stuff. She had corn pads, matches, and some kind of token, tickets for a show way up in Shemokin, thumbtacks, a pencil, a pen, and a nail, a big bunch of letters she forgot to mail. Cuff links, buttons, and a Tony kit, a big ball of yarn she's gonna knit. She had a coin purse, a ponytail, and a chocolate bar, a two-buck ticket on a brand new car. She had a hairnet, beads, and some colored specks, a compact glove and some old blank checks. A fountain pen was leaking a little bit of ink, and even the stopper to the kitchen sink. A faded old flower from a wedding corsage and a couple of keys to her old dad's garage. A charger plate and a metal chain. It looked like the search was all in vain. She had a postcard picture of Grant's tomb and a bottle of that sweet-smelling French perfume. A box of aspirin and an old band-aid. A couple of bills that hadn't been paid. A package of gum and some filter smokes and a book of Joe Miller's favorite joke. She's my gal and that's no crime, but my gosh, all I wanted was just a dime.